Truck engines do not have a hydraulic valve clearance compensation. Therefore, the valve clearance must be checked in regular service intervals and reset if necessary. We show you, using the engine 541.9, how to go about setting the mechanical valve clearance, also known as method 2. Before you begin with the work, the vehicle must cool for 30 minutes. A steady heat soak of the engine is thereby guaranteed. But caution, this time span also includes if you've only driven the vehicle a few meters into the workshop. Tilt the cab forward and remove the noise cover. To get access to the valves, remove the cylinder head covers. We start with cylinder 1. Remove both screws with a ratchet. For the reinstallation, tighten the screws with 20 Newton meters. Afterwards, remove the cover of cylinders 2 and 3. Then cylinders 4, 5 and 6. The rapid exhaust valve is new. This should now be taken off as oil gathers here which must be removed. Undo the cover screw. For the reinstallation this must be tightened with 6 Newton meters. Next, disconnect the constant throttle line. Now undo the fixing bolt which holds the rapid exhaust valve. For the reinstallation, tighten the screw with 45 Newton meters. And remove the rapid exhaust valve. Carry out the cleaning on reinstallation. Now we come to the intake and exhaust valves of the cylinders. These must be checked in the two crankshaft positions and set. For the first crankshaft position, you must turn the engine using a rotation device. But before you can install the rotation device, remove the soundproofing panels under the vehicle. Then undo both screws of the inspection hole. Now install the rotation device in the inspection hole of the timing case. It's held by two screws. Then bring the engine into the crankshaft position, top dead center. Using the device, turn the engine until the DC mark appears. For the next step, check which cylinder, 1 or 5, is at the top dead center of the piston, the TDC. The rocker arms fixed. The first cylinder stands at the valve point overlap. Therefore, cylinder 5 is at the TDC. Here the rocker arms are loose. We're using method 2, so we check the valve clearance of the cylinders using a feeler gauge. We begin with cylinder 5. With cylinder 5 at the TDC, you can check the valve clearance of the exhaust valve and the intake valve at the same time. Moisten the feeler gauge with oil. This way it doesn't create contact friction. Using a 0.4 mm feeler gauge, check the clearance of the intake valve and use a 0.6 mm gauge for the exhaust valve. If the feeler gauge can be pulled through too easily, as in our case, both valves must be reset. To do this, first loosen the lock nuts. We start with the adjustment of the exhaust valve. Adjust the clearance using the set screw. The feeler gauge may not be able to go through too easily or with too much effort. When it's set, hold the set screw and tighten the lock nut using a 17mm socket. The lock nut is tightened with 15 Newton meters of torque.
Check once more if the clearance is correct. Looks good. Now set the clearance of the intake valve. You do this in the same way. Here too the clearance lies within a given tolerance of plus minus 0.05 millimeters. Make sure that the lock nut is tightened with 50 newton meters of torque. Once you have properly set the clearance of the fifth cylinder, check the remaining valves in the same crankshaft position. When the fifth cylinder is at the TDC, the following valves can be checked and set if necessary. Cylinder 4, the intake valve. Cylinder 6, the exhaust valve. On the right side of the engine, cylinder 2, the intake valve. And cylinder 3, the exhaust valve. Because cylinder 1 is still at the overlap point, you can only check the valve clearance when the engine is moved. Now cylinder 1 is at the TDC. Now in cylinder 1, the intake as well as the exhaust valve can be checked and set if necessary. In the remaining cylinders, check the valves which you could not set before. When this is done, we have one more tip for the reinstallation. Before the rapid exhaust valve comes back into its place, you must clean the valve and the surroundings of the quick release valve. Use a suitable cleaning product. Also clean the sealing surfaces of the cylinder head covers.